hello and welcome back to the channel guys today I want to restart where I left some two weeks ago and show you the product uh, that is called motorcycle seat cushion so like I told you in the earlier vlog that there are multiple options available in the market when you want to enhance the comfort level of the seat now the option that I initially uh, chose was uh, to buy an extra cushion seat and put it on the existing uh, Pulsar N250 seat and um, see if that was comfortable now what you see here is actually a second product um, so this is that pro seat and uh, as you can see it compared to the previous one the size of it is small because if you remember I showed you a picture of the previous seat right it was a bit longer and also it was wider than the pulsar n250 seat and i used it on a ride and that was uh, to that uh, uh, falls kailasa kona falls and during that time i initially it was fine but later after 100 kilometers i started feeling the uncomfort level uh, you know got increased and i started feeling uh, pain I will say not an extreme level but there was uncomfortable thing that was there yeah so this is actually the second one which I thought to purchase a reduced size so that it will fit much better on the Pulsar N250 seat now what I think of the seat now after having I mean I have not tested this one but I tested the bigger one which had a similar construction everything the material everything is same also the company is same this is manufactured in China but uh, sold in India by a company named Sthir or Sthira yeah and uh, so this is actually not a gel seat or a cushion seat or a foam seat this is actually a rubber material which has a honeycomb structure so as you can see it has a honeycomb structure and it is made of a TPE material TPE basically is rubber so my conclusion actually is that this seat is not going to be a comfortable one because uh, I think that instead of increasing the comfort level it kind of increases uncomfort level is what I felt because uh, of this material and of the honeycomb structure and that it is split in between so basically when you sit you sit like on two different parts and uh, I think that is a major uh, point to think about because uh, somehow it is not working or giving that comfort what it should now I do not know if it is just with me or with everyone so I am going to scrap this uh, idea of uh, increase, trying to increase the seat comfort using such seats and I'm going to leave the Bajaj Pulsar N250 seat as it is it is not bad I think if I use my riding pants always on the ride I think that the comfort level with the Bajaj N250 company seat will be fine because when I went to the Tarangambadi that was to and fro uh, 600 700 kilometers ride and on that ride I only had that uh, normal company seat of N250 and it was fine but I had my riding pant at that time so instead of uh, wearing any sort of jeans or any sort of normal formal pant I think that it is always better to wear a riding pant now riding pants of course ha come in different uh, forms one can be like for the touring one can be like for the daily use now what I have as at the moment is only one set of riding jacket and uh, pant which is for the touring so I will try to use them because I do not have any budget to go for another pant which can be used like on a daily basis but uh, yeah so this is my plan and idea right now and I thought to share with you now in the market there are other options like gel seat or uh, foam seat which say again that they will increase the comfort level now I do not know how true that is 
um, but I am going to leave the seat as it, is, as it is right now and this is the update and um, information for you and uh, the plan is that we will be going on uh, many more rides in the coming days so stay tuned you do not want to miss that definitely so thanks a lot and uh, have a good day guys take care have fun and i will see you in the next vlog until then signing off it's your 10k vlog bye